Hey guys, it's Ben here. Today I'm showing you an After Effects tutorial. This is how to make slow motion clips in After Effects. So uh, yeah, here's our clip here. Well, I, we can, I can just play it here so it's uh, bigger. Oops. Um. Good job, team. Get ready for the next. All right, so basically I'm just gonna do the. Uh, What's it called? I'm only gonna do up to the. I'm not gonna do the final kill cam. All right. So uh, yeah. So I wanted to make this shot ending right here, and then knife flip like that in slow motion. So here, what we're gonna do is we are going to right click our clip. Oops. Um. Go to time. Go to enable time remapping. I we'll have this thing down here, and you're gonna want to find the part where you want to start um, making slow motion. So I'd say like, like right when the shot goes off is when I'd want to do it. So yeah, I'll put this marker right here so you see the gold thing. That's the beginning. That's the end of the clip. So now we're gonna want to find. Our uh, our next one. So here, let's like that. All right. All right. So now, um, so basically, these are time in between these. And if I move this away from that, that would stretch out the seconds between here. But it would also make this time, like I don't know how to explain this. Like if I stretch this out to here, it'd make this part slow motion. But this part would be shorter because it's trying to stay inside like the limits of the video. So, but we don't we don't have a clip over here. But if you needed to expand because it was at like the end of a clip or something, you hit Control K, and you replace this or minute or hour, however long your clip is, and you replace it with a different number like 25 uh, seconds. So you have more space to do that. So basically, you're gonna take the end of yours and the um, the back end of the part you want slow motion. You're gonna drag them both out like that. So now here, let's um, let's render out the preview. This isn't what it looks like. This is just yeah, it's rendering it out. So uh, yeah, so it's almost done there. The green bar at the bottom. Alright, so as you see, that was pretty cool. So, yeah, the farther you take these out, the more slow motion it'll be. Like, if I put it out here, we render this little part right here. Watch it now. It's probably going to be really laggy. Yeah, so it didn't even show the end of the clip because we cut off the clip because of the seconds thing I was talking about. So... It can't even show. Yeah, there you go. Now we got the knife flipping. So basically, um, you don't want it to put that close. Oh, you don't want it to be like that, or it'll be like really laggy. So you want to make it like decently slow. So I think this is pretty good right here. All right, so let's render this out. All right, so once it gets here, we'll watch it right here. Let's see if it's good. So there you go. Um, um, I'll show you guys fast motion real quick, just in case. Just drag it closer. So now let's try this out. All right, let's see if this works. Cause I've never done fast motion because there's really no need to do it. Well, you probably could. Now it's not responding because I. Recording, so if we open up another program, if you guys didn't know, if you just open up another program, it'll. Now let's watch this. Oops. I saw that was fast motion, and it repeated the clip because I overlapped them. So yeah, you you don't want to do that. 
unless you're like really good at ending it, you could find a way to make that look really sick. But uh, let's take one last look at this. You gotta extend this clip out. Make this one a little farther off. Alright, so let's check it out here and see if it's good. Then we'll render it out. And uh, yeah, I'll just put the video, like the actual video, at the end of this. Up here. Well, there you go, guys. And uh, if you didn't know how to render, oh, also a good tip to do. Um, I didn't do it because I'm just stupid. Is just save your uh, project and just keep saving it throughout your thing. But uh, yeah, you can go to file. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I gotta. Um, I think I have to save the project before I can export it. I'll just put it as an untitled, untitled project, I don't even care. Alright, so now we can export. I think you could have done it before, I just didn't see it. You can hit right. add to render queue. And then you're gonna um, hit right here where it says output to. Click this button. And then you're gonna wanna name it to whatever. I just totally failed spelling that. I'm just going to put slow motion. Alright. So now that you got that, you can hit render. And once this finishes, your clip will be in your files. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll leave the clip at the end in case you want to see it, but you've probably already seen it like 50 times. So uh, that's about it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all have a good rest of your day today.